What's up, pack members? It's your leader, Spirits Alpha here, and welcome to another video. So, this is going to be another leg review, and this time around, I'm reviewing the Lego Marvel superheroes Thor vs. Surtur construction figure. So, this is actually a set I just got today, and it's actually the day it released, so that's pretty cool that I have the set. I, like, actually stopped by Target during my break at work today, and I picked up two sets, as a matter of fact. I picked up... This one right here, which is the one that I, you know, just, I legit just finished building it, actually. And like I said, it's Thor vs. Surtur construction figure, and this is the box. So, yep. I don't usually have the boxes in my reviews, but since I legit just finished this one, one you know, I thought, why not? So, anyway, it's a pretty simple set. It retails for about 35 ish dollars, I think. So, oh, yeah, not too terribly bad, especially considering it has 245 pieces. But, yeah, in our case, let's go ahead and toss the box aside and let's get started on the review. So, starting things off, we're just going to take a look at the figures. Here's Thor himself. And this is the Ragnarok version of Thor, of course, and this is obviously. The opening scene version, so he does not have the shortened hair yet. And this one actually comes with a chain, which you'll see why soon. And he has his, whoops, well, there goes Surtur. <laughs> um, but anyway, he has his hammer Mjolnir. But at the same time, it's actually a little bit different. Well, I mean, the mold is the same for the hammer. We It's the same hammer mold that we've gotten since the first day. Or when Lego Marvel Superheroes first started. But this one's pretty unique. Because it actually came with this extra piece right here. To simulate the lightning effect. And there's different ways you can do it. You can actually remove this little brick right here. And have Thor hold it like that. So, yep. Pretty cool. And he also has a second face. He has the lightning power face as you can see. Or the lightning eyes. And then the R face is just, you know, normal smiling Thor. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. And something else that's pretty unique about this figure is this new rubber cape. Which I've just accidentally taken off. But hey, whatever. So, this is a new rubber cape mold. It's not truly new since we've seen the whole rubber cape idea on Doctor Strange. But this is the first time that they've done this new design for the rubber cape. And due to the color, I have a feeling that they'll probably use this cape in, like, Superman Lego figures whenever Superman comes back in Lego form. You know, just a thought. And I think Loki, in some of the other new sets, has the same mold, but in green. And I'm just going to put this back on his hand for now. And the two other main figures again in the set are these two guys. Now, they're just called Fire Demons. Not really much else to say about it. It is kind of cool to get black bone pieces again. And that's the back. They actually do have a little bit of like printing on the back. I don't, it's kind of hard to see, but it's like a little hellfire kind of printing. And I do think that looks pretty cool. So I, I imagine like you can use these head pieces for customs. It kind of looks like Dormammu now that I think about it. So if you wanted to make like a Dormammu figure you can totally do that so yeah pretty cool now we're moving on to the build itself this is Surtur himself it's construction figure now i don't usually buy the construction figures but uh this one here i thought was cool since it had you know thor and the two fire demons and then it also this is the first time we've ever gotten Surtur as a lego figure Minus the time where he appeared in Lego Marvel Superheroes 2 as just a simple big fig and a boss. Which he looked awesome in that game, but I think this whole construction figure really just captures his, like, appearance. So, you know, pretty cool, pretty cool. And, yeah, so he has a lot of, like, hellfire detail on him, as expected from Surtur. He has a good bit of posability, too. And I love how his sword looks. It's like a sword composed of pure hellfire or whatever. So that's really cool. And I think one of my favorite parts besides the sword is the new face print. It's kind of creepy looking actually, but 
it's, or not print, but mold. It's like an actual human-shaped mold. I think that's a new mold. Well, it's new to me, at least. But, yeah, pretty cool. And I may seem like I'm rushing this a little bit, but I really don't know what to talk about with this figure. And it has this little piece right here, this little queer piece. You can actually attach it onto his back or not. And there's different ways you can actually utilize this piece. You can either do it on his back, which I will demonstrate what that's for soon. Alternatively, you can actually have, like, say, Thor, like, hold him, hold it like this, put on the Milne right here. Adjust it a little, and now it looks like he's throwing Mjolnir, and there's a lightning effect behind it. So that's one way you can do it. Move that off. And the next way you can do it is you can actually take this little piece right here, this little stud piece, connect it like that, and then we bring back Surtur, plug that back into his back, adjust it a little. And now it looks like Mjolnir is, like, flying towards Thor. And I guess you can also say, a, uh, if I can get a hold of it, like, say Thor has the, or is holding on like this, you can have him do that. You can also actually remove the crown asserter. And, like, have, have Thor hold or grab the crown just like he did in the movie. And there actually is one interesting way that they show on the box and it's on the back. I'm trying to find the picture. Oop. Oop, that's not the back. <laughs> so, I don't know if you can see or not. Yeah, right here. It shows Thor actually having the crown like mounted on his back and the chain around it. I haven't tried that yet. I don't want to spend a long time trying to do that. But, you know, still kind of cool just to have that idea. And at the same time, I'll just show the picture on the back as well. You also have, like, Thor be dangling from the chains of Surtur. Which, you know, we might actually try to do that for sake. Let's actually reattach his crown real quick. And let's see if I can figure this out. We're gonna, like, have Thor get that thing wrapped around. Actually, let's, let's actually connect it to the Surtur's hands first. There we go. Now, if I wrap that around Thor. Yeah, well, it's not perfect, but I think y'all get the idea. You know, Surtur's got... Thor and his clutches and stuff like that. Sure, it's not perfect, but, you know, still pretty cool. At the, end, at the end of the day, I do feel like this set is pretty well done for what it is. I mean, $35, you know, kind of, kind of pricey for what it is, but I think for, like, the two fire demons, the cool variation of Thor you get, the posability this offers, and just having Surtur in Lego form for or once is very cool, in my opinion. Overall, though, I do give this set a thumb, thumbs up. It's pretty fun. If you can ignore like the, like the minor play features or not really play features, if you can ignore like the fact that this is a construction figure and this is your chance to get Surtur, I say this set is pretty, pretty good. Definitely worth checking out. So I think that just about wraps up this video. So until next time, this is Spirit the Alpha signing out. I'll see you guys back in the pack, and stay tuned for another video when I review my other set that I got on launch day, which is this, the Batmobile from the animated series. But that's another video. So until next time, this is Spirit the Alpha signing out. I'll see you guys back in the pack.